I am SirTapTap, and there was a minor update that didn't actually involve an app update. You might have already seen it. But in Abyssrium, they, for one thing, they added this thing, um, this event thing that contains several non-event things. And it has, there's a new bingo thing. But the bingo is not required for the event this time, thank goodness. It does have a couple of exclusive, um, I, I guess, event-related, um, things? You know, these expand items, there's a bridge. You can get the bridge here. Wood, a wooden board tile. It's not even a bridge. I mean, it's under water anyway, but whatever. It's, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So, um, these, these, none of these unlocks are hidden, so I'm not going to go into any real detail on these. One thing somebody did ask is if the lucky, or if the luck shell, if it counts when you get it from the hiding fish, and yeah, it does. Um, it's the exact same for all the things. And one thing, I don't remember if we have covered the hiding fish, so I'm going to go ahead and go back and review all of the new hiding fish. I like to review the fish. And someday we're going to do a stream where I just review every fish. Like a really quick review, like one sentence review of every fish. Um, so look forward to that. Make sure to um, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so you're notified of any streams and stuff. But um, they added the gold sea butterfly, and he's got some new fish here. Um, now, what I really don't like about the hiding fish thing, in addition to being Gashapon, um, they're all kind of crammed in the event fish thing. Look at this. There's 700 creatures in this list here. 700 and to, to find things in this list is a complete disastrophe it's a disaster and a catastrophe so that's great um so yeah we're just gonna go through and look at them real quick blue devil fish it's all right <laughs> it's one of those fish that just doesn't have anything too interesting about it, it it's got a nice little tail but otherwise you know the, the, the first ones are always kind of boring i do like the colors on this fine boy here Hawaiian cleaner bass. Now we're talking. Philippine butterfly fish. I'm sorry, but I'm sick of butterfly fish and tangs and box fish. I know they're the quintessential exotic um, tropical fish, but there's so many of them. Give me some salps, you know, give me some sea salps, give me some um, some man o' wars, some, some real weird crap. There's some really weird crap down there in that ocean. And there's weirder crap than the stripey fish, who I'm pretty sure I made that name up and the game somehow took that out of my brain. The stripey fish, yes, very creative. So there's, there's crazy stuff out there in the sea. Like this guy, the bicolor goatfish, that's alright. He looks kind of like he's from hell. I, I like that. He looks bifurcated and he looks like a satanic goat. Now we're talking. That is more of what I'm talking about. Yellowfin goatfish. A little more plain, but it does have a strangely goat-like head. I do see, I definitely see some goatness in it. Otherwise, it kind of looks like a catfish. Blue striped chub? That is a chub. That is that is a chonker. That is, there's definitely some chub. Oh, he's pretty thin for a chub. It's more vertical chub. Very rare. Very rare vertical chub. I like his kind of like highlights on the shader there. Oh, that one's all right. Humpback Batfish. I like this guy. This guy's all right. Very liney. Very good liney. He's the second stripey fish. There's two stripey fish. Port Jackson Shark. Look, <laughs> that's just that's just a two-year-old drew a picture and called it a fish. And it's just like I'm gonna make it a nose is all square. He's got a happy smile. No, he's, a, he's a fine boy, even if he even if he was drawn by a two-year-old. That's fine. Look at look at that. That's not a real animal. Look at look at that that is that's ridiculous. I refuse. Yes, I know it is a real animal. I, <laughs> the last time I made that joke, somebody was like upset. It's like, you know it is tap tap. I know. But look, that's stupid. Your tail is ridiculous, Mr. Thresher Shark. Stop, don't try that hard. We know you're compensating for something. And the Golden Sea Butterfly, this one is in fact fake. Um, but yeah, it's, you can't even see its eyes, it's just kind of spooky. <laughs> These things are pretty cool. Real sea butterflies, those are, like, the weird, interesting sea creatures that I like to see. So I, I can't complain too much. I don't like the golden fish too much. That's right, Parker. 
Yeah. It wouldn't be a video if you didn't interrupt. Thank you. Yes. All right, so we're gonna review the next couple just because I forget if I even did a video or not. And it's been a while since we did a little Abyssrium video. Um, that's right. They seem to be trying to do mid-event or mid-month updates just to give you something to do. But the problem is it's always, um, it's always the hiding fish, which require lots of fusion materials. I never have any fusion materials anymore. They, they have burned that well to the ground, which is very strange because it's a well and wells are already in the ground, but they found a way to do it. That's right. That's right, Barker. Um, Blackfin Coral Gobi. Eh, it's a fish. It's a fish. White Cap Gobi. It's a little better. I do like the colors. It's a fish. Yellow Banded Red Weaver. A little better. That is some jank animations, though. Maybe they just are that janky. I don't know, but he's just jacking about in the water. Red Spotted Sand Perch. Same. Same fish. This is usually just like. It is always just. It's, this one's very upfront about it. Just two of this with a reskin. Two of this, two of this, two of this, two of this. It's just, they, they only make four fish, really. And they pretend that it's eight. Parker, get off the computer. Um, purple Reef Lobster. That's ridiculous. That is a beautiful color. That is a beautiful young man right there. I, have, I approve. He's got spots. He's like Swiss cheese. High quality. What do you want? Yellow Lobster. Well... It's a lobster and it's colorful. Not too much to say about it, but it's alright. Spotion Oceanic Triggerfish. I like these guys. These are like halfway to being a sunfish. They're huge, but they're not quite. Parker. My cat refuses to get off the table. Yellow Marsh. That is a handsome boy. That is a handsy boy, as we say in the business. The fish naming business. It's not, it's not a great business. It doesn't give very much money, but it is a business. Short-beaked common dolphin. That's a fairly long beak. It is reasonable. I would say it's a reasonably sized beak. Don't don't go beak shaming. Got an interesting color, kind of like tricolor thing going on there. Not too bad. Indo Pacific humpback dolphin. Look, his beak is the exact same size as the short-beaked dolphin. They're very clear about just doing skins. Gold football fish. Eh. The fascinating thing about this guy is that he appears to just be an orb slammed into like this golden vessel. Like he doesn't actually have fins. Not not a tail fin at least. He's just like slammed into a thing. He's like a he's like a necklace. He's like a human necklace. Well, I mean a fish, but you know what I mean. Um did we check out these boys? Blue tank surgeon fish. I... These look familiar, but I don't remember, so I'm just gonna review them anyway. Lance Blenny. Blenny is a great name. Blenny is like, if you forget your friend's name when you're introducing them, like, this is Blenny, and you kind of try to like, like, yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, that almost sounded right. Persian Blenny. Exotic. More exotic than the regular Blenny. Pygmy Shark. Those are some spooky freaking eyes, though. Those, you see those, like, cold, dead eyes in the sea? You know you're gonna die. It doesn't matter that he's a pygmy. It doesn't matter he's super small. He will bite your ass. Even if it takes additional bites, he'll do it. He's crazy. Rainbow Sea Perch. He's got some nice tattoos there. He's got some, he's got, it's Marty guy. He's got some face paint on there. I think I did review these. I don't remember. You palette surgeon fish. Now that is that is the most British person I've ever heard of. That's that is definitely a surgeon. Blue tang surgeon fish. <laughs> this is just a blue tang. Mew. But this is no. I think this is. I think this is its own thing. Like it's blue tang surgeon fish. I, I never liked the name Surgeon Fish. It's like, tang, everyone calls them tangs. But then Animal Crossing is like, no, it's a Surgeon Fish. Which technically it is, but I don't know. Tang sounds better. Longfin Batfish. 
Eh. <laughs> Parker is ang with me. Crocodile shark! That is a happy boy! Look at those eyes! That's adorable. It's got- those are the biggest eyes I've ever seen. I think I did review these, but I don't care. I'm gonna do it again. You can't stop me. I mean, you can press the pause button, but you, you can't stop me, theoretically. Atlantic wolffish? He's got some chompers. There's some wolf-like qualities here. Mostly- mostly just the chompers, but... That's okay. You don't need legs to be a wolf. You can be a wolf if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Star Spotted Smooth Hound. <laughs> that sounds like a rare insult. You Star Spotted Smooth Hound. Look at that face though, yes. That is, a, that is a happy boy. That is a fine boy right there. And then of course is just gold, gold trimming on a fish. <laughs> That's what they all are. The Marlin I think doesn't look too bad, but it's not, not my kind of thing. Oh, and one last thing in the update, there is also the, 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 this thing, the Lucky Bubble. This is just another new Gashapon thing. Um, nothing in here is unique. Basically everything in here, these are items from the old events. So like this is from the retro event, this is from the space event. So these are just items that you could have gotten in an old event and now they're just moved into here. Um, which pot? I'm not sure if that one, I think that might have, I, I, I don't remember. Because uh, it was last time it was the tank event, so I don't think there was that. So maybe there are some new ones? But most of these I know were in fact from the old events, like this thing was from the circus event, obviously. Um, these are very expensive. You have to buy these things directly, the sodas. And, um, the cheapest one lets you just use pearls, which is still pretty expensive. And you're most likely to get these common items, which are just really boring tiles, usually. Um, these aren't... Very rarely you can get an item that's, like, actually a fish, um, in here. But, uh, I think it must be, like, SSS or something. But that's very rare, and uh, does it even tell you the, um, odds? Tell me the odds. Here we go. Cloud sheep 4%. So like that's the that's the super bonus best possible thing. But that's less than 1% and these things cost these like these like expensive. Like let's see. Um let's go to the shop here. Um, God. <laughs> There's so much crap in this game now. I don't even know where to go. Where is the stupid soda? Okay, the soda is gems. Okay. Deluxe soda 10. So $5 for a single spin, Jesus Christ. So like $5 to get like one of these to, to place. Wow, so uh, you get bike. And the thing about these expand items is, I don't know about you, but I always immediately forget they exist. Um, I <laughs> there's, there's so much crap every freaking month in this game that I really can't give a crap about the old things. Especially since the menus are so... They could improve this game so much just by adding um, a thing where like you go to event fish and there would be subcategories. There'd be like Christmas event, retro event, Halloween event, uh, hiding fish. Hiding fish should be their own separate thing. And they should call them lottery fish, not hiding fish. Because there's already hidden fish so that's confusing as hell. Anyway, it's all dumb. Um, they could do a lot better. I'm looking forward to Abyssrium World. I hope it's very, very, very different. Completely different. I want something completely 100% different. The only things that I want Abyssrium World to share with the old games is the fact that it's underwater and the fact that it has the kind of low poly graphics. That's, that's the only thing I want there to be in any kind of similarity. Um, I really hope it's just totally fresh start because this... They really, Flaro Games in particular, really kind of ran the game to the ground. They're adding Gashapons at an incredible rate. Like, we're getting one, we're getting multiple Gashapons every month at this point. It's kind of nuts. But, that's your kind of Abyssrium catch up thing. The next Abyssrium event poll. Abyssrium poll kind of always gets an event on the last week of the month, and then regular Abyssrium always gets an event on the first week of the month. So, next week there will probably be a poll event, and then two weeks from now, There'll probably be another regular Abyssrium event. So, 
Kind of sucks that there's nothing to talk about in between those. I, I really miss... You know what would be amazing? You know what would instantly make this game so much better? You take the hiding fish. You take them out of this thing with that, where they cost... Look at all this crap. Look, look at the... So I have to make like 60 to 70 to 80 of these things. They cost all these sea urchins. Look how many sea urchins I have. And that's a lot. This is a lot for me. I have been grinding for a long time for that many sea urchins. They will be gone immediately the next event. Um, I have been down to zero sea urchins multiple times in the last month. Um, so what you do to make this game 10 times better, take these out of the Gashapon, make them regular hidden fish. Give me a reason to talk to other players, try to find out the new unlock. Let me buy it just with this vitality that I've been saving up for no reason. Look at the cost. It's like I could buy like five fish right now just because there's no reason to. I, I have not kept up because there's just nothing to do with my vitality. There's no reason to buy anything because everything is on fusion materials. And that's something pretty insidious that mobile games like to do. Um, they give you all of this currency and then over time they add new currencies. And then the old currency that you saved up and been working for the whole life of the game, it's crap. It doesn't buy anything. You can't do anything with it. <laughs> this game is really bad about that, I've got to say. And it got extra bad due to Flare of Games. It didn't always used to be quite like this. Um, I wouldn't say it was always perfect by any means, but um, definitely definitely was better and could it still improve. But I think we're just going to have to wait for World and see what's going on. So <laughs> That was your Abyssrium video for the mid-month period. So <laughs> don't expect to see more of it until next event. Um, thanks for watching everybody. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you later.